Moderna's COVID vaccine makes it to Connecticut, the first delivery to Hartford Healthcare. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rich Coppola. I'm Ann Nyberg. News 8's senior political correspondent Jody Latina was there and leads our team coverage this evening. Hi, Ann. 9,000 doses were delivered to Hartford Healthcare today. The CEO, Jeff Flax, tells me that they were chosen by the federal government and says that when someone opens a door for you, you simply walk through. Those doses arrived via UPS shortly before 11 o'clock this morning. It has only been less than a year since COVID erupted on the scene. So this process of vaccines between Moderna and Pfizer is pretty remarkable. Now the COVID clinical care nurse was first at Hartford Healthcare to get in line for the shot. She has to tell families over video chats that their loved ones have died. And today she says this is a positive step forward in a very long, exhausting journey. I mean, in all the 16 years that I've worked, I've never thought that anything like this would happen. It has, it, it does definitely take a mental toll on you. So for me, I am just excited that we have now come up with a vaccine that means that we can move forward. Now that Moderna vaccine does require a second shot after 28 days. The vaccine does say stable in the fridge, we are told for up to a month. The state will have received nearly 56,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine and that one in particular has a second dose after 21 days. And of course, as you know, it does need to remain in a deep freeze. Now, officials expect that 120,000 frontline workers and nursing home residents will have gotten their COVID-19 shots by New Year's Day. That is a huge process to undergo, but they say they are ready. Clinics will be rolling out for the general public come the springtime. We're live in Hartford tonight, Jody Latina, News 8.